Hi, the block-based text editor in Feeds and Courses is a unique tool that helps you streamline creating content for blog posts and lectures. In this video, I will show you how to use it and highlight its key features. Suppose I want to write a new recipe article for my food blog. I go to Feeds, click on the feed I have created for my blog, and add a new post. By adding content blocks, you can fill your blog post with different types of content, such as text, heading, image, video, quote, introduction, callout, divider, or add HTML code. This simplifies content management for your website and ensures that every element is optimized for search engines, helping your website rank higher. To add a new block, click the plus icon and select the content type. Let's kickstart our article with a captivating heading, the perfect summer salad. Blocks can be modified using the context menu. To access it, click on the three dots. Here, you can delete, move up and down, duplicate, select, and convert blocks into other types of content. For example, from a heading to body text or to a quote. Each type of content has its own set of settings. For instance, for headings, you can change the header tag from H2 to H3 or H4. Header tags help web crawlers better understand what your page is about. Since your blog post title is the most important heading on the page, it's automatically assigned the H1 tag. Now, let's paste our text into the text block. When you insert the text, it prompts you to divide it into paragraphs to keep the original formatting. If the text you pasted is displayed in a single block, you can divide it into different blocks by clicking Shift-Enter. Next, let's edit the first text block. I click on the three dots and select Convert to convert it into Introduction and add a divider below. Then, I adjust the color of the divider to better complement the layout. What's a recipe without pictures? Let's add a cover image for our recipe by clicking the plus button and selecting Image. Here, you can upload a picture from your computer. After uploading the image, you have the option to resize it and align it either to the left or center. If you click on the three dots next to the image, you'll access all possible actions for this type of content. Choose Edit, and here we can add alternative text or the alt tag for SEO. Search engines rely on alt text to understand the context and content of images. Add a caption, for example, specify the author of the photo, and make your image clickable by adding a link. Next, let's add a quote from the recipe creator. If the quote block seems out of place within the article, you can easily move it to the right spot. Simply click on the three dots next to the quote and select Move Down. Here, you can also quickly duplicate the block or delete it if necessary. Next, let's enhance our blog post with a recipe video. You can do this by inserting a link to YouTube, Vimeo, or an MP4 video. Click the plus button, select Video, and paste the link. If you want to replace this video with another one, click on the three dots next to the block, then choose Edit Video, and add the new link. Great! The blog post is ready. Let's save it and see how it looks. Apart from these tools, you can also add HTML code using the block-based editor. There are two types of content available for this purpose, highlight code and embed HTML code. Highlight code can be particularly useful, for example, when you're crafting an article about web development and want to add a code snippet. Embed HTML code can be used if you need to insert HTML code of, for instance, a third-party widget. Let's break down where to apply them using an example from a tech blog article. Here's a post I created in advance with a title, a body text, and an image. Now, I want to add a code snippet. To do this, I click the plus button and select Highlight Code. This allows me to add HTML code formatted as a code snippet. If you need to embed HTML code into your article, select Embed HTML Code. This third-party code will be applied on the published page. To emphasize key text in your article, choose Callout. Here, you can adjust the color of the text, background, and the icon. You can also set up an anchor link to help visitors navigate within your article. Say you want the user to jump to the code snippet block when they click on HTML. To achieve this, click on the three dots and come up with an anchor title. For example, code. Next, choose the word or phrase from which the user should navigate to your code snippet. I select the word HTML, then choose link in the pop-up 
and add the anchor name with a hashtag. You can set up an anchor link for any element within your article. Let's save the settings and see how it looks on your website. You can access the text block editor in Tilda's built-in online course builder as well. Add text, headings, images, videos, and other types of content, just like we did earlier in this tutorial. That's it for now. We have seen how to create content for your website using Tilda's new block-based text editor. To learn more about working with this editor and other Tilda tools, check out Tilda's Help Center. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.